hi and welcome back to my channel today i'm starting off the video with a sale i had on ebay this morning and it is right here this limoges trinket box let me get it down so i can show you better so this trinket box sold this morning sadly it has a chip here on the lid um, which is why it didn't sell for as much as it could have been because these are pretty collectible it is limoges Bernadotte Limoges, France, and these were given away on Air France to first class passengers, I believe in the 80s, if I remember right. I did, I did research on this, but a long time ago. It is hand-painted poppy flowers, and it's just a really neat box. It sold on eBay for $24.30 plus shipping. Well, I had another sale on eBay. And it is this gorgeous painting I got um, probably over a year ago from Goodwill. It is oil on canvas. Absolutely beautiful. There's the signature. Even the frame is really pretty. I only paid $6 for this. And it took a while, but I finally sold it um, I accepted an offer for $130 plus shipping. So now I'm going to wrap this up for shipping. My plan is to wrap it in bubble wrap. And because these are raised here and here, it should keep the bubble wrap off of the, the actual painting. And then I'm going to wrap all of it in cardboard and then put that in two large poly mailers. And I'm thinking it should go okay like that. I've done that before with other art pieces. So I'm going to show you the process as I wrap this up. So first I wrapped it all up in bubble wrap. And then the next step was to cut open a large box and lay it flat so that I could put the painting inside. Then I tape it all up so that it stays secure inside. The next step was to take a bunch of my largest poly bags, cut them open, and wrap the whole cardboard piece in that just to keep moisture from getting in on its way to the buyer. I got another order from Whatnot. I am gonna show you what it is that I bought. Actually, it's two items I bought from the seller before. Her whatnot name is Foothills Cottage. Yes, Foothills Cottage. So, let's open up the first item. It is this beautiful napkin holder. I just had to have it. I actually need a napkin, napkin holder for my kitchen right now. This is... A vintage 1993 Arthur Court. Um, it feels like some kind of metal napkin holder. So that was the first thing I bought. And here's the second item. She always wraps everything so well. It is this vintage glass horse plug, they call it. It's made by Heise Glass. And it is in this beautiful golden yellow color thought it was so neat. She had a bunch of them in different colors. And can you tell I love horses? There we go, just what I needed. I'm listing some things on eBay this morning. Um, a couple of items that I've, I've had in some of my recent whatnot shows, but they didn't sell. So I'm gonna go ahead and list them on eBay. This is a really neat paperweight with the jellyfish. The cool thing about it is it glows in the dark. I'll insert a picture here of that. It also glows pretty awesomely under black light. So just a very cool paperweight. I think it's so awesome. It's probably just made in China, but nevertheless, very cool. For the people who like to collect paperweights, this is a neat one. So my guess um, so I'm thinking of putting it on eBay for about $40. 
with best to offer. And we'll see what happens. I'm also listing these cute little bear figurines. I was surprised these didn't sell and whatnot. They're really cute little miniatures and they're actually uh, made in occupied Japan. So just a fun little set. And these did not sell on whatnot either. I tried them in a few different shows. You never know with whatnot. It's almost like timing is everything. And just because it didn't sell doesn't mean that it won't sell on whatnot. But I decided go ahead and put them on eBay and maybe try them again and whatnot in a few weeks if they're still available. And I'm thinking of maybe putting them at $25.99 with best offer and see how they do. Another item I'm listing on eBay is this beautiful, ornate, gold-plated butter dish. It has the glass insert. It's just so pretty. I did try this on Whatnot a few times. It did not sell. So it's going on eBay. Maybe Etsy as well. I'm going to start it at $35 and with best offer. Um, I do run a lot of sales on eBay and I do take offers, so... I usually start with a higher price. I am about to go thrifting. I've done some listings. It is Saturday. I don't like to go thrifting on Saturday, but I'm going to go right when Goodwill opens. Let's see if I can find anything. So the first thing I saw was this creamer and sugar set in the gold. It had a lot of wear, so I didn't want to pay $4 for that. Now this plate, I've sold some of these before, Ruth Sanderson Unicorn Plates. So I grabbed this for $2. I did contemplate these other plates with the butterflies, but I decided not to grab those. Hiding back here was a teacup made in England. I decided to grab this. I believe it was only $2 and it's got really pretty flowers on it. So I put that in the cart. I saw a shadow box up here that was kind of interesting. Um, I looked at it, but I decided to leave it. It said made in China. It was pretty though. And I saw some bags with some little mini apples and then cherries. I thought about grabbing these too for decorating, but I didn't, I didn't take them. This was a really cute little cross stitch. It said a partridge in a pear tree. I grabbed that. I like the look of these little footed metal creamer and sugar set. They said made in Japan on the bottom. I thought they were really neat. so. I took those. I'm trying to remember the price on them. I think it was $2 a piece. Now I didn't want to pay $4 for the other creamer and sugar I saw earlier, but for this set I thought it was really neat, so I did pay that. This is some kind of paperweight made out of a metal. I think it's copper. Could be brass, but I don't think so. But I liked it, so I grabbed that. It was getting busy, so I'm just showing some of the things I stuck in my cart. This is a neat little painting with mushrooms. Can't beat that. And now we're at my favorite Goodwill, and right away I found one of these Buyer's Choice ca uh, Carolers. These are worth some money. I found this pretty much right when I walked in. I definitely grabbed that. This Goodwill is super small, but I always find amazing stuff here. Here is a really pretty glass perfume bottle. So I really like the look of that. I grabbed that as well. I'm off to a great start. I like this little pottery, um, little pitcher and basin bowl, like a miniature. I thought it was really cute. So I did grab that for $2. Um, I'm not showing it right now, but up on the top shelf, I saw the ruby red glass creamer and sugar set. They actually had two creamers and then one sugar bowl. These are Anchor Hawking. Really pretty deep red color. 
Here's a nice Pyrex dish with the lid and everything. These usually sell pretty quickly. And this is um, Anchor Hawking, or maybe it's Hazel Atlas, pink crinoline. And look, more buyer's choice. Oh boy, some clowns. I did not buy any of these. The last thing I found was this butter dish by Pottery Barn. Butter dishes sell pretty well, and this seemed like a really nice one. My last stop was Thrift World, and I didn't really film in here. It was very busy. I got three bags full of goodies, vintage items. So I am going to open those bags next and show you what was inside them. Okay, so I'm opening these bags I got, and this one was $3.98. And I'm gonna quickly show you everything that was in there. The majority of the dolls in this bag are the ones that have the sleepy eyes. She has a really cute dress. They almost look handmade. I couldn't find a marking on her. So that's the first one. This one's cute as well. This looks like a handmade dress, which is kind of neat. I don't know, there's something about vintage dolls that I just really like. So she also closes her eyes when she lays down. She's adorable. This one is a little bit more scary. Look at her eyes. She does not have eyes that close, and they painted on some eyelashes. She looks a little too excited. Her hat is falling off. But she's like a patriotic girl. I'm wondering if somebody made the clothes for these dolls. It's really cute, too, because she has a little flag that she was holding. But it looks like the toothpick broke off. So very cool, very nice clothes. Yeah, she's just, her expression is a little scary. <laughs> this poor girl has fallen apart. Okay, that is very creepy, like seriously creepy. Let's leave her alone. Her arms have come apart. But another really neat handmade dress. She just needs some fixing. Then we come over to this one. This one seems extremely old. And she's a bride. Looks like she's wooden. You can tell by her foot there that has a big chunk out. So yeah, she's definitely older. I'm not sure what to make of this. Somebody put their own photograph maybe on the head? That's kind of strange, wow. Very interesting. It's just a wooden body with somebody's picture on the head. We have these tiny celluloid babies in these little homemade outfits. These are pretty scary. These have something written on the back of them. Let me check that out. They say Renwall, a number, and then USA. And the last thing in the bag was this cute little porcelain figurine of a hula girl. And this is marked as Japan. So quite an interesting bag of vintage dolls. I will probably sell all these dolls as a lot. Um, maybe include this too. So yeah, it's so fun to look through the bags. Okay, this other bag of dolls I paid $6.98. I feel like they're the same type of dolls but in better condition. So let's open these up. There were four dolls inside the bag and they definitely look like the same type of dolls. Um, they don't all have the sleepy eyes. 
Two of them have the sleepy eyes and two do not. The dresses are really cool. So I would probably sell these together as a lot. And then the other group that's in a little bit hard, uh, worse condition as a lot. But the dresses are really neat to look at. Some of them do have some wear. Like this one, the apron is kind of worn. Very neat fabric though. Very cool. So that was the other bag of dolls. Inside the other bag I bought at Thrift World for $6.98 was this vintage children's bakeware. It's all made out of metal. There's little baking pans. There's a teapot that's damaged. Even the little molds here, the jello molds. Really adorable plates. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Some of these remind me of Disney, um, such as this saucer here has a princess on it and a shoe. Could be vintage Disney. Same with these little plates here. It's very possible that's Cinderella. So cool. Some of it is marked USA and some of the darker pieces like this one says Germany on the handle. The lighter ones say made in USA. So just a really fun set. This little picture also had a princess on it. It is damaged. But I really love this. It was really fun to go through that bag. I had another order on eBay. It was this sealed in the box, night before Christmas salad plates. Don't mind my dog going crazy in the background. She's running around. These are by Nortaki, I think in the 1990s, and they are still sealed in the box. So these sold on eBay. I had a sale running, and so they sold for $43.99. Well, I just finished having a whatnot sale. I sold one item and it's that Lefton figurine back there. I really like her. It is Lefton. China. Can't read what else it says there. Hand painted. And it says regular something U.S. Patent, patent maybe. So yeah, she sold on my whatnot sale for eight dollars. So it's okay. I only sold one item. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes I don't sell anything, and sometimes I sell a number of things. It's all in the fun of doing the sales, though. I really do love whatnot. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, could you give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.